this little 16 year old nugget inspired <laughs> uh, she was an inspiration because and, and a lot of uh, teachers can attest to that I, w w in the process of teaching I think you learn the most uh, and so in mentoring her I've I preached a lot of things I, I, I spoke of a lot of things uh, to her uh, that I then was like well are you doing all those things that you you know you want her to kind of puts up a mirror so, right yeah, all of a sudden exactly yeah. she's a big part of this book but yeah, we're, we're, you know, I'm her older brother for life. I love that family. I love her. I, I want the best for her, and I'm excited to be in her corner for years to come. All right, let's just say it. Val Shmikovsky and Lori Hernandez are serious friendship goals, right? The Dancing with the Stars pro has lots to be thankful for these days. His new memoir, I'll Never Change My Name, is out right now and already making waves for its authentic voice and powerful story. Shmikovsky, who immigrated to the United States as a young boy, opened up about the importance of diversity today and the inspirational meaning behind the book's title. I'll never change my name is in context of uh, this, this, this weird transition that I felt. Uh, I, I've lived in this country for 15 years at the time. I've uh, competitively ballroom danced for 12, you know, became the first American, American, not Russian American or Russian to ever, first American to ever win a junior world title when I was 15. And that's the highlight of my career. Uh, as much as I love mirror balls and, and, and winning the <laughs> dance with the star, that's the highlight of my career. So now I'm on the show where I become the Russian kid uh, and, and I'm asked like, well, how do you like it here, you know? Uh, for me, it, it, it was a realization that, you know, Chmerkovsky will never sound less foreign, uh, but it doesn't make me less American or less proud to be an American or less grateful to be one. So coming to this country and, you know, knocking on the door and having the door open, we are now, you know, guests that better contribute before asking for anything in return. And so we, we've contributed and hopefully we've earned our space at the table now and, and in the house. And I just want to pass it forward to like the next generation that will be born here and that will be born here with, you know, knock on wood with some luxuries that I didn't get to enjoy. I want those kids to still have a sense of uh, gratitude and, and, and not have a sense of entitlement.